Hey guys, welcome back to Battlefront Updates. Earlier today, or actually yesterday when this video is going live, EA showed us a new trailer called The Future of EA Star Wars, which I had the opportunity to watch live here in LA. That's also why this video is a little bit delayed as I tested out a bunch of games at EA Play and my hotel Wi-Fi is absolute rubbish. This trailer gives us a glimpse of what we can expect the coming years in terms of Star Wars games. At first a lot of people might have been a bit underwhelmed as we didn't get a full reveal of any of the games and not even a Bespin trailer, but if we take a closer look at the trailer frame by frame we do actually get quite a lot of details on all these games and in this video I wanted to do an in-depth analysis and breakdown of the full trailer and also the articles posted around it to keep you guys up to date with both the Battlefront news and other Star Wars games. So let's get straight into it. The first interesting scene is this one, where a guy is sketching on what looks like concept art for the Millennium Falcon in an asteroid field. This image is shown out of context, so we don't really know if this is just a random concept art or actually something related to one of the games. It could be something for the Death Star DLC, Battlefront 2 or basically any of the games, so it's hard to say. Moving on they start talking about Star Wars Battlefront and we get our first glimpse of the Bespin DLC. And if we go over it frame by frame we can firstly see the Millennium Falcon flying outside the Cloud City among the Tibana gas platforms. And my guess would be that this footage is from the Fighter Squadron game mode which according to Dennis will be the largest one yet in this DLC. In the next scene we get our first glimpse of the inside of Cloud City and also Lando Calrissian himself with his very sexy cape. We also get to see the cloud cars flying by and a couple of new skins. First off we have the Bespin wing guards to the left which we haven't seen yet in the game and will probably be either an unlockable skin or a standard skin on the Bespin maps. There's also a new skin over to the right which is the old rank honor guard and this skin is actually more fitting for Leia's guards so it's unclear if this is a new skin to select or if it's a new skin for Leia's guards. If we take a look at the weapons we can actually spot two new weapons that isn't in the game right now. The rebel over to the right wields a weapon not currently in the game and it might be the EE4 since we don't know how that weapon looks yet. The Bespin wing guard does however wield the Relby K23 blaster pistol which they are known for using and this weapon hasn't been announced yet so my guess would be that it will be coming as a free hot contract fairly soon, either with the Bespin DLC or later down the line. It's pretty cool that we got that little tease in this trailer. In the next Bespin scene we get to see this iconic corridor on Bespin where we've seen Darth Vader and Luke have a lightsaber battle, so that's probably a first glimpse of the carbon freezing chamber map. Moving on we get a surprising first glimpse of what looks like the Death Star DLC and trench runs as well as potential space battles. It does however look like a scripted event and possibly like an intro to a new mission but it shows that they're willing to move into space which is good to see as most people do expect that for a Death Star DLC. Not only that but in the next clip we get a surprising look at Bosk who will most likely be the villain in the Death Star DLC. This is the villain that I've guessed on myself and that makes a lot of sense, but it was a bit of surprise to see him this early on as they've usually waited quite a while with confirming the heroes for the DLCs. I'm still fairly sure that Chewie will be the hero for the Death Star DLC, but we still don't know for sure. We get a super quick glimpse of Criterion Studios and how they're helping DICE to create the virtual reality Star Wars Battlefront experience. We get to see a guy with the virtual reality headset on piloting an X-Wing. I can also add that in the article on EA's website they actually say that the last DLC for Star Wars Battlefront is coming in December and not early 2017. Next up we have some very interesting news for the future of the Star Wars Battlefront franchise. Apparently Motive Studios are working together with DICE on the new Battlefront game coming out next year. In the article on their website they actually say that Motive are making great progress in building out a significant new addition to the game and that they have started development of this game by listening to all of the feedback they received from the fans. I'm not saying it's confirmed but to me it truly sounds like a campaign. They do have Jade Rainman working on the project who were a producer on Assassin's Creed, a story heavy game and they are also working with Amy Hennig on Visceral Star Wars game which is also very story heavy. And this really makes me think that the next Battlefront game will have a campaign. Even if we sort of already knew it, they also confirmed that this game will contain content from the new movies 
and we get our first glimpse of this art that shows off the First Order TIE Fighters as well as Resurgent class Star Destroyers which was used by the First Order. Another cool thing that they show is this animation when a player gets into an X-Wing. This could be a hint towards them moving away from vehicle pickups on the ground and actually making it like in Battlefield where you can see the vehicles and climb into them. It could however also be an animation for after when you've picked up a power up. We also get to see this early concept of what looks like the inside of a Star Destroyer. This image combined with the earlier one I showed really makes me feel like this game will focus a lot around space battles, possibly even with ships that you can board, since they do show the inside of the Star Destroyer and also this rebel that seems to be lowering himself down with a cable to possibly board another ship. Next up we have Respawn Entertainment and I know many of you have said that you want a prequel game and that you aren't getting one based on the info so far. Well listen carefully to this. First off as soon as the Respawn clip starts they switch over to prequel music which really got me pumped. And after that we get to see a couple of guys practicing with lightsabers and motion capture suits. Which really indicates that this game is going to be a lightsaber focused game and if that is the case the Clone Wars is definitely the best way to go considering the amount of Jedi and Sith alive during that time. They also say that Respawn's game will feature a different style of gameplay and takes place in a different timeline we have yet to explore with our EA Star Wars titles. This must mean the prequel era, because the original trilogy has obviously already been used and the sequel era will be used in the new Battlefront game and then the Old Republic is used in the Star Wars The Old Republic MMO, so that basically only leaves the prequel era to use, which is why I definitely think it's going to be a prequel era game. Next up we have Capital Games with Galaxy of Heroes and as far as I can see there's not really anything new here but they are working to add more heroes and characters from all eras, medias and so on. I know that this game does contain prequel content but I don't think that's really included in the statement regarding Respawn's game simply because this is a mobile game and it does have a mix of characters from everywhere in the universe. After that we get to see a little bit of footage from Star Wars The Old Republic but it's nothing new so no point in going into details. Lastly we get to see our first glimpse of the highly anticipated story heavy game that is being created by Visceral Games and is led by Amy Hennig who is famous for the Uncharted series. This game is now confirmed to be coming out in 2018 and first off they show us some concept art and I think this guy is actually the main character who we get to see in this in-game footage I'll go over later. The troopers in the foreground looks like Imperial agents because they are wearing helmets that are very similar to the one Agent Callus has in the Rebel series. It also appears to take place on Tatooine judging by the Double Suns. I have to admit that that's a bit disappointing as I'm starting to get a little bit bored of Tatooine but that might just be one part of the game. If we take a look at the actual footage we get to see what I'm guessing is our new main character in the game. And judging by the TIE fighters flying by, the Imperial banners, the Star Destroyer and the potential agents, I'm fairly sure that this game is taking place in the Galactic Civil War, maybe even between episode 3 and 4 but that is a bit hard to guess right now. One thing worth noting is that they confirm that this will be a completely new story with new characters. So those of you saying that it looks like Boba Fett, sorry it's not him. <laughs> and well that brings the trailer and analysis to an end. That is all the key points and interesting clips that gives us information on the upcoming games. It seems like we're getting a Battlefront sequel game the next year, an original trilogy story game by Visceral in 2018 and then a prequel respawn game after that. But again the prequel part is not confirmed but just my speculation based on some quite solid facts in my opinion. If you enjoyed this video feel free to drop a like and share it around as a lot of work went into it. Also if you spotted anything in the trailer that I missed in this video feel free to let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and as always may the force be with you. <laughs>